Welcome back, my cinnamon slices, to part two of the No More Heroes Heroes Paradise playthrough. Yes, I know most of you are thinking, well, why am I starting a third playthrough? Well, I got inspired from Johan Gamble on YouTube. I mean, these this, these loading screens show off a little bit of what our boss is like. Now shut up. <clears throat> right there he is, death metal. Quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true will. No, it's not. I am free of desire, so long as I have this scenery to look upon. I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving in a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now. Huh. Mealy? You obviously don't know me. Ain't you that the truth? It, do you? <clears throat> hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise. This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up. This is no paradise. All right. Then what is it? <coughs> a place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a bit of you make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. <coughs> Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Damn, I want to play like that. Now draw. Huh. You can take that to your brain. And this monologue coming up during the fight, I just love it, and I'll shut up during the part. It is just awesome of Travis talking about what he thinks would what par true paradise would be. So I'll shut up. And start fight against death metal. This can't I feel as if I'm looking at my future self. Mega bucks, big ass house, fast cars, dining in style with a world-class chef and a trusty nutritionist counting every calorie. A team of hot yoga instructors to keep me in shape. Nurses to attend to my body. Maids and loyal servants at my beck and call. On the weekends, ten babes knocking on my door every two hours. Every day full of excitement and luxury. That is my life. Everything in its right place. It's the perfect life. It's the life of winners. That'll be my life. I thirst for selflessness. Hypocrites lusting for their own desires get killed by young rookies like me. This is how it goes down. And for the old brothers, they'll croak anyway. I guess you can call this a comedy. I realize there's really nothing here. But what else can I do to keep going? Maybe I should have been a little more careful before I jumped in. Gotta find the exit. Gotta find that exit to paradise. But I can't see it. Can't see anything. There's this sense of doom running down my spine like it's like it's trying to suck the life out of me. I need to get rid of it before I fail. Something deeper. Deeper than my instincts is taunting me. Can't find the exit. 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 Yeah, I love that air monologue. Now, it is death metal, and as you saw when our swords clash, we initiated a beam clash. That is, if you won and it's against a regular enemy, you'll get an instant kill attack on him. Oh! Extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name, Holy Sword, is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. 
Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. Damn. Death metal. Dead. Oh, and Sylvia pops up behind us. A bitch in heels. And after every boss fight level we clear, we get money known as LB dollars in this game based on how well we did. And we got rank S for clear time and damage taken. Now you'll always want to get want to aim for rank S in this game. Because it is for a trophy. And yes, with that claw attack of death males, the way you can tell which one is the real one is that. And the whole time when Sylvie's doing this, Travis is checking out, checking her out. This line kills me. If I become number one, will you do <laughs> That line just kills me. Just once. Seriously. If I become number one, will you do it with me? That line just cracks me up. And I know Johan Gamble say it too in his Let's Play of this game. Marvelous! Now I see the rankings. We are now 10th in rank. Serva is the 10th best hitman. Dun 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 dun. Punch it, Chewie! And that's a reference to Star Wars with that whole light speed effect. And every time after we beat a boss in a level, we're taken back to Travis's motel room to save. <clears throat> Yeah, as I was as I was explaining before Sylvia interrupted me, the way you can easily make death metal's at clone attack stand out is search for the one that has like you can tell which one's the real one by how bright their bean katana their katanas glowing. Like if you don't see them glowing, and it's like. Like it's running out of power or something, then those two are the clones. The one that has the glowing bright light is the real one. But you have to take care of the clones first before you can continue to be up on old death metal and kill them. <clears throat> Am I ready? Anytime. Gotcha. This line coming up, I don't get why they put it in the game. Why do they put that in? Why do they put that line in the fucking game? Are they just doing it to show Travis's love of that certain anime show that's only fictional and never actually been released in real life? I mean, seriously, what the hell? And yes, I'm changing Travis's get up right here. Sunglasses. Black, because black is badass. Yeah, 
I like this one. <coughs> oh yeah, have you start heard of T-shirt 000? T-shirt 000 is just Travis without a shirt on and showing tattoos. And this one, we're going to put on the shirt that says, You say psycho like it's a bad thing. <coughs> you can get that shirt by finding it throughout Santa Destroying Dumpsters. Leopard. Love leopard pants. And yes, you can change Travis's belt. Metal scale. You can also look in your drawer, look in Travis's drawer and change your bean katana here, but you can't do it while you're in the level. If you want to change your beam katana, you have to you have to change it when you're in the when you're in Travis's motel room. Look at the t watch the TV. You can watch the tra trailer that was shown for the first when the game was coming out. This video game you can only unlock after you beat the fourth ranked assassin which we'll get to them in time. And these are four wrestling videos that you can purchase from Beefhead Videos when we unlock it. Well, which of course we've already unlocked it from starting a new game on a cleared save file from Travis's best friend, Bishop. Fridge you can use to restore Travis's health. Travis's cat, Jean, you can just spend some time with her. You're aroused by the foxtail. Yeah. Playing with Gene will come into effect in the next game. Now, you would wondering why is there an armchair option? Well, you can use the armchair to, like, when you see Dream, you can watch all the cutscenes from the whole game from all the bosses, all the Sylvia encounters, everything. Even the, all the telephones call you, telephone calls you can watch. Now, if you see Nightmare, then this allows you to fight every boss in the any boss in the game that you have beaten, and it's mainly just like a practice. If you want to hone your skills against them and like um, <coughs> practice against their attacks, and mainly just practice. But anyway. That is it for showing off Travis's Matara, and of course, as you saw, the function of the toilet is used to save our game. I have enough money for an entrance fee for the next ranking battle. Make the payment at an ATM. Well, oh, what's that? Limo! Ooh! Let's go here instead of getting our bike. Good scene, I'll shut up. But it does have one funny thing at it near the end. <clears throat> the next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. The ninth ranked assassin is currently... No, sir, I'm making a video. A doctor? Actually, a detective. A dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigations, illicit sales, black marketing. He is your one-stop shop for marketing illegal goods. And on top of that, he is a trained assassin. He's been doing some work for the Mafia. And before you know it, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be frank, he's good. You won't stand a chance against him. <laughs> she saw Travis coming. Alright, please transfer 150,000 LB dollars. What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee? My overhead costs? Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some shit. We have an elite staff in the thousands. Personally, I think it's a bargain. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? 
What the hell am I supposed to do? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on the job journey will be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, that's big. I'll tell you when I think later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? <laughs> 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 I love that part with Sylvia kicking Travis out of her limo. Anyway, this has been part two of the No More Heroes Heroes Paradise play PS3 playthrough. I'm going to do Rocker 115 signing off. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, like, and take care.